Hello, I'm Brother Mark, and I am the, the Phantom of the Gospel, and today's subject is going to be on uh, sleep paralysis. And I read recently where up to 40% of people have experienced sleep paralysis, and uh, you know, scientists and everybody's probably joined the bandwagon and explain what exactly what it is. But I know exactly what it is. It's demonic. Let me start at the beginning. When I was five years old, or some four or five years old, I can remember having these dreams where I couldn't move, I couldn't speak while I was in, in my sleep. And uh, it kind of followed me all th through life. And I, about the age, and then I got born again, you know, I accepted the Lord, and I, the Holy Ghost came into me, and but this phenomenon kept happening to me. So, I, uh, you know, usually when it would happen to me, I'd kind of yell out, especially after I got, you know, after I was married, or I'd moan or something, my wife would wake me up and the, the spirit would go or whatever. I didn't know what it was, what it was then. But uh, it, I was about 57, 58 years old, and it was still happening. And you know, the Lord has spoken to me about oh, a multitude of different things, different subjects. But and the one thing that stuck out, and that was uh, you know present in. Every, every time it happened was that I couldn't talk and I couldn't move. So, you know, I couldn't say, in the name of Jesus, leave me alone. Uh, and really, frankly, I didn't know exactly what it was. So one night I'm sleeping and uh, it comes over me again. I can't move. I can't talk. I'm laying there. And, you know, the spirit of fear comes on you when that happens. And uh, then all of a sudden, just out of the blue, I, I thought, well, I'm gonna, just going to think on a scripture. You know, just think on a scripture. I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm going to think on a scripture. Because I can't move. I can't talk. So, I think on one scripture that's pr fairly popular, it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. So I could feel this thing gripping me, and when I just ran through that through my head, I could feel that its grip just slightly loosen. And so I ran it through my head again, and it loosened a little more. And then the, th the third time I just meditated or ran it through my mind God has not given me the spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind I could feel it just let go it couldn't hold on any longer and it just let go and uh, I thought well what scripture backs that up I mean and then the Lord spoke to me in in uh, Romans it says uh, to be carnally minded is death you know, but to be spiritually minded is life and life and peace. So, carnally minded, you know, I'd have my wife wake me up and it would leave. That was carnally minded. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. When I thought on those scriptures, it brought power from the Holy Ghost. It brought life and peace, and it radiated. Just my thinking upon it radiated out. And it repelled that uh, spirit right off of me, so that it, you know. And I never did have a problem with it after that. I mean, it might have uh, taunted me or something like that, but.
but not like it did before. It just, it knew, it got its butt kicked. It knew that I had its number and, it, and that it had no power over me anymore. All I had to do was think on a scripture and that brought power and life. And uh, so there's the answer to what uh, sleep paralysis is all, is all about. It's satanic in nature. And uh, thanks for uh, once again listening to my teachings and uh, have a nice day.